Okay, welcome to the third uh, plenary session. I am Ralf Döring, I will chairing. I am the head of the fisheries economics unit of the Thun Institute of Sea Fisheries in Hamburg. And um, I have the pleasure and honor to, as I said, to chair this morning. We have the general theme of that economic advice for the common fisheries policy catching up with biological advice, and we have three speakers. And I want to ask uh, Ricardo Rigillo, the Director General for Maritime Fisheries and Aquaculture in the Ministry of Agriculture, Food and Forestry in Italy, to start. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Also, for, also to ECF for organizing this uh, important moment of discussion in Salerno. Um, I think during these days, you, we all had the opportunities to discuss about the, the hot topics of the, of the moment. Uh, of course, the main hot topic probably is the new CFP that uh, challenges all us uh, and all our mindsets that actually, in my opinion, need to be changed to a new, to a new framework, to adapt to a new framework. Uh, actually, the, the new CFP uh, is grounded on longer-term perspectives uh, on management by introducing uh, multi-annual plans that, at least for the Mediterranean, are uh, quite new. Of course, for the Mediterranean, we were uh, we still are uh, obliged to uh, have management plans on a national basis according to Mediterranean regulation. That is some specific rule in the framework of the old and of the new CFP. Uh, on, the, um, on the biological assessment of Mediterranean stocks, we know that many of those stocks are overfished. We can discuss about the data. <coughs> We can discuss about methodologies, but it's, it's quite clear that many stocks are all fished. Uh, according to the, to the Mediterranean regulation framework, uh, since 2010, uh, Italy adopted several management plans, uh, 12 management plans for different, uh, for different fish, fisheries, and um, according to different sub-areas, the FAO GSA, the geographical sub-areas of, uh, of uh, FAO. Each of these plans is characterized by measures meant to recovery uh, um, the, uh, the main target species in the area through an approach that is an effort management approach. That is the approach historically used for the Mediterranean. This is because um, the traditional approach is a multi-species, multi-year approach in, uh, in this basin. Um, of course, the uh, Italian adaptive management plans represent an important step towards a more effective management approach in accordance with the guidelines expressed in, in the, at the EU level. Uh, they are the result of a long process of research and analysis based on the use of bioeconomic bi models specifically structured for the Mediterranean Sea. Uh, in this framework, one of the main achievements of the management plans for the Italian fisheries is represented by the attempt to shift the management, the management unit from stock to fishery area. That's why they're, uh, <clears throat> they're set and structured uh, uh, on GSAs uh, and on uh, fishing years. Uh, this is because, as I was saying, uh, Mediterranean fisheries are mainly, uh, mainly multi-species and multi-year. Um, at the same time, we have, to, um, we have to question ourselves if the, uh, the approach that is enforced now is still consistent or is still useful with the new CFP framework. Um, of course, um, Mediterranean was considered, was considered a specific basin with some specificities that didn't some specific rules. But in fact, <clears throat> this can be true for every basin because every basin can be, can be said as its own specificities. So probably, and this is, I think, also the result of the public consultation on technical measure regulation that uh, was closed by uh, a few weeks ago by the, by the European Commission, 
the idea is that, of course, there are some general measures that, are, that can be one size fits all for every basin, but they are really the, 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 the broader measures. Then every basin needs its own specificities, and this is the potential, I think, of the new CFP, where it introduced the concept of regionalization, where some rules can be actually decided uh, with a regional advice, with a regional agreement, of course, with a high involvement of stakeholders. So at present, uh, there's a need, of course, for Italy and for at least for the Mediterranean country, but for all the countries, actually. Uh, there's a need for a revision of the current management plans, transforming them into multi-annual plans. Uh, and we have, in this respect, some, some main items on the agenda. Uh, first of all, we need to revise management plans in order to fulfill the requirements of CFP, in particular including measures related to MSY and to lending obligation. These, of course, in the regionalization framework. Uh, we need also to include, as far as possible, a bioeconomic approach, taking into account economic and social consideration, such as MEY and uh, or its proxies. Uh, then, as I was saying, we need a wider involvement of stakeholders in the drafting and in the implementation uh, and, of course, in monitoring the management plans. Uh, it's also possible to imagine uh, the simulation of additional measures such as uh, transferable quotas, effort quotas, and all that. Um, as I was saying, the main feature of the Mediterranean fisheries is the high multi-specificity, since, uh, since different species of commercial interests are commonly caught. And uh, furthermore, we can say that Mediterranean region is also subject to a very high level of anthropic pressure, of course, not only by fishery, fisheries activities, but um, in considering fisheries, these pressures come from vessels of um, more than 20 Mediterranean and non-Mediterranean fleets. Uh, that means uh, a quite difficult, um, quite difficult environment for a level playing field. Uh, of course, we have EU countries and non-EU countries fishing in the in the same in the same areas, um, and this is. Um, complicated by the fact that, of course, these fleets share the same stocks. <clears throat> More in general, uh, activities will be done in order to develop specific management tools at regional level, in order to set specific MSY range within multi-annual management plans. Uh, this range has to, be, uh, uh, has to be put in place on each target species. Uh, what is the, actually the new concept that passes at least for the Mediterranean is just shifting the attention to target species and uh, developing management plans for target species, different areas, and different fisheries. That is something that, uh, that uh, let's say, recalls uh, a fleet management based or uh, the concept of operational units, if you want. <coughs> um, we can say that one of the main limits of the, of the past CFP was a poor involvement of uh, stakeholders in management processes. Uh, this has led to a substantial low level of compliance. So um, the top-down approach of the previous C CFP has to be somehow, uh, somehow changed. And the new CFP identifies, in fact, that there is a strong need to enhance and streamline stakeholders' involvement. Uh, another limit has been a poorly flexible management environment. And of course, the regionalization and the adaptation to local and regional needs overcome, overcome this, this problem. Um, it is then advisable that the future plans could take lessons from, from the past and having a, a, a prevailing bottom-up approach uh, being more local framed. This approach consisting in wider involvement of all stakeholders, especially of fishermen, is indeed more easily achievable and possible if the fishery addressed by the management plan is very well defined 
by a geographical and technical point of view. This will, uh, this will take us to identifying the, the main points on which we have to focus when thinking about new management plans. Our aim is to increase the uh, acceptance of measures by the fishermen and other stakeholders and to facilitate their enforcement with the right incentive structure and explicit involvement on regional basis. According to the most recent and complete impact assessment guidelines, the analysis of impacts of new policy options should address the likely economic and social impacts, both intended and unintended, for each selected new policy option. In this scenario, impact assessment should provide evidence to policymakers with which to take decisions. The sustainability impact assessment should be based on some key principles on which the most important are the three sustainable dimensions integrated into the analysis, considering short and long-term effects, considering the spatial impacts and possible conflict among global, regional and local objectives. Stakeholder involvement that increases awareness of the wider implication of policies and counterbalance the methodolo methodological limits of monetizing impacts. To sum up, the key for future management plans in the Mediterranean and in the new CFP framework, of course, um, needs to take into account uh, three key points or themes. These are focusing on target species, regionalization, and uh, reasoning in terms of interse intersections of area, fisheries, or fishing gears, and species. Um, this implies this implies, I think, uh, this, is, this is not a simple shift. This implies a, really a revolution of thought and of mindset uh, for the fishermen, for the administrators, and for the scientists. But of course, this is the thing, the only thing that is needed in order to, uh, to pave the way to a new management approach and to the, uh, to the CFP that we will apply for the next decade at least. Thank you for the attention.